The rmdir command or the remove directory command is used to remove empty directories on your system. If I switch over to the terminal, when you make a directory, you typically make it with the make dir command. So let's make dir a test directory here in my home directory. If I do an ls, I now have a empty directory called test here in my home directory. Now, if I put something in the test directory, so let me actually uh, create some files and I'm going to create some files in the test directory. I'm going to create five text files that are going to be 1.txt, 2.txt, all the way to 5.txt. And now that I've done that, if I ls the test directory, you can see I have the contents here of these five text files. So now test is not an empty directory. So if I do rmdir on test, it is going to error out. We're going to get this response, rmdir failed to remove test because the directory is not empty. rmdir only works on empty directories. And this really is for safety. Typically, to be perfectly safe, what you want to do when you delete a directory that already has contents in it, you go and delete the contents of the directory first, and then finally delete the empty directory at the end. And the reason is if you just recursively remove directories, uh, you, you could have some some unintended deletions, right? You could end up removing files and directories from your system that you didn't mean to. So to remove this directory, first I would need to remove the files. I can use the standard rm command, the remove command, to remove the files from test, and I will remove uh, asterisk txt so every file that ends in txt within the test directory if i run that and now if i do another ls of test it is now an empty directory it has no content so now i should be able to rm dir test remove directory test and I got no errors, so if I ls my home directory, you can see I no longer have a test directory. Let me clear the screen. Now the remove directory command can take multiple arguments. I can rmdir directory one space, directory two space, directory three space, yada, 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 into infinity, right? I can remove multiple directories. Now remember, rmdir only works on empty directories. So if I give it a list of multiple directories, it will only delete the ones that are empty. The ones that are not empty, let's imagine directory two is not empty. I'm gonna get an error message and it's going to say, hey, directory two is not empty, so it couldn't remove it. But anything that happens to be an empty directory, say directory one and directory three are empty, it will successfully remove those. But we do have a special flag with RM dear, you could add this flag here, this dash dash ignore dash fail dash on dash non dash empty. So ignore fail on non empty. So what this does is when I give it multiple directories here and give it this flag, anything that's empty, it will remove. Anything that's not empty, it won't remove, but it won't spit out an error message. So you don't get any output in the uh, the terminal. So this could be useful in scripting if you're using the rmdir command to remove multiple directories as part of a script, but you're not sure if they'll even exist on the system or if they'll be empty. So that ignore fail on non empty could be useful in that situation. Another very useful flag is the dash p flag. You can think of this as the parent flag. So what this will do is I could give it, you know, path to some directory to remove, right? And what this will do, it will remove remove the directory. It will also remove to slash directory. It will also remove path to slash directory. So it will remove everything in the path I gave it. So it will remove the directory and all of its ancestors. So the parent, the grandparent, so forth. And I can show you this in action as well. Let me make some directory. I'll make the test directory again. And I will also make inside test, I will make directory one. And then inside that, I will also make um, AAA. So test slash dear one slash AAA. So I've got three directories down. And if I rm dear dash p test slash dear one slash AAA, if I do that and I do an ls, I no longer have test. So it removed not only AAA, it removed dear one and it also removed test, right? It removed the full path that I gave it. Now remember, this only works just like the standard rm dear command without the p flag. With the p flag, this only worked because all of these directories were empty. 
If there were any files in any of these directories, it would have errored out. One final flag I want to mention with rmdir is the dash v flag for verbose mode. Many commands have a verbose mode. This means print some output to the command. So by default, when you uh, remove a directory, there is no output if the command is successful, but sometimes you want confirmation, uh, maybe for scripting purposes. You want a confirmation that that directory that I told you to delete, you know, that it actually did delete that directory. So if I once again make a test directory here, if I do a rmdir-v for verbose, and now when I remove, again, we get a message, removing directory test. And if I had done multiple directories, you know, five different directories, for example, I would get a line for each of the directories that were successfully removed. So there you have it, the rmdir command. There's not much to it. If you want to learn a little more about it, you can read the man page, type man rmdir in the terminal to read the manual.